The following game is a new release by an indie studio and should be supported as such. It's a newer title, we will consider it to be in its alpha beta stages and believe full heartedly the game will improve when needed in time. We'd like to thank Valkyrie Initiative and Bad Vices Gaming for giving us the opportunity to work with their product. You can't just wall fuck the enemies. Get your frustrations out. There you go, he's dead. Hi there, welcome to our Let's Play of Hippocampus. I'm your host, Hilti. I played through some of this game to get used to its mechanics because this is actually a very new game. And in fact, it's going to be released in Alpha or Beta in the coming days, and you'll be able to buy it on Steam. So let's go over Drama. the first chapter, I guess. Um, I'm going to play up until a certain point because that's as far as I could figure out how to get and um, show you the me mechanics of the beginning of the game. We met not long ago during one of his visits to foreign lands. He fell in love with me, unaware of the fate that awaited him. We were bound by a deep love. However, by the that, time I was established, that face is kind of cursed. <laughs> Well. They started to look for information about my origins, and unfortunately, they found what had to be revealed. I'm not entirely sure about the subtitles because I understand they help with knowing what's being said, but however, because they're not, um... They're not, uh, anyway. So, the idea is that, um... Your character is basically on drugs, he's, he, he's having these plants, potions, these things. It's just explained in the synopsis that is um, hallucinogenic or poisonous or toxic. So, let's begin. So, you look like. Um, I think it's some kind of knight, I guess. You got a cape. Is it a cloak? Is it a cloak or a cape? Does it have a hood? It is a hood. It is a cloak. Yeah, um, press L to sprint is interesting because I wasn't sure if it's a, actually a press or a um or a hold down. I think it's a hold down. But I'm not entirely sure. Um, these orbs are fairly interesting. They do get introduced in games such as Dark Siders, which is similar in the platforming genre, so let's go up here. I like how they have platformer elements in little puzzles at the beginning and show you, they show you how to solve them. So you pick up the orb and you throw the orb like you're Naruto or something. And the orb, that thing breaks and you can now jump up here because the blue orbs let you double jump twice. The green ones, uh, what well, I figured out, they work like the turtle shells in Super Mario, they bounce back. Traversing an area, before you do, you have your weapon put away, but it turns out you just have to make sure there's no enemies in the room. And this is Lorelei. She waves. Um, change selection using left, left bumper and left trigger. That just changes your weapons. I'm not sure if it changes the um, anything else later on, but you cannot use a orb like this in the tutorial with your weapon out. But you need the orb to continue this part. This is weird. I didn't, I didn't have problems with this before. Also, every time you collect Lorelei's, they boost your health. So if you want to abuse it, I guess you could just be like, oh. I haven't had trouble with this before. Um, but it's, it's filling up my health bar, so I'm not gonna... What? This was never a problem before. Okay, we're good, we're good. That was kind of weird. And these are all double jumps for you guys early on in the game. 
And we're on the weapon picking. So I figured out that the sword is basically the better weapon. It uses less um, memory, which is your life bar. And if it runs out, you die. So you probably don't want to use all of it at once. The game flows down for a moment just to go over these tutorials, which it could play while the tutorial is happening. Anyway, so you, you have to lock onto your enemies. I found that out the wrong way. And the mutilation is for the memory bar. So it's a right trigger hold down for the mutilation. And you can aim your attacks at different parts of the body. Similar to um, not a uh, Jedi game that came out ages ago. The, um, oh. no, I've never done that before, and I didn't know I could. Okay, we're going through the fights here, so what else do we do? Uh, you need to toggle lock on and off, because it's one enemy. And then you can finish the tutorial. So you cannot traverse the area. Can you stop hitting me so I can do the game? Thank you, game. Oh no! Are you still alive? Uh, it puts your weapon away when you die, which is kind of helpful, I guess. But not having your weapon away doesn't do anything because you can't really ledge grab, which I thought was a thing in platformers nowadays, but it's okay. Because you don't need it, you have orbs. And let's throw this. And you, you gotta look at your surroundings. The camera pans pretty good. These are journal things, I don't know what to do, but you gotta collect them. It's a collectible, it's a platformer. You gotta have collectibles in a platform. It's just part of the game. Let's continue. Again, these things work like... They don't. What? Okay. And what I found with this part was it's easier to actually jump to the left-hand side than it was to, um... Freaking sadists. Um, this was probably... I did this tutorial before. I didn't like it simply because of the way it you have to do it. You have to you have to lock on. It's a given. You have to do it. If you die, it reset it checkpoints you. And if you forget to turn off your special, you get checkpointed as well because you died. Because you ran out of memory. So let's not do that. And we're good. We can keep playing. And it's, it's down. Cool. Yeah, it's brutal. These black orbs are teleportational, I guess. Is that, is that a word? Let me know in the comments. Um, oh, but... Yes, I do seem to have some trouble. Thank you for noticing and disembodied voice of the... Yes, it does. It hurts a lot. Um, it's gonna go over this way. You gotta hit these, it's like the um, buttons in Devil May Cry where you hit them and it opens doors. It kind of feels like a Devil May Cry Souls if that makes sense to anyone. Um, so you go up here and you're in a room. Now this red orb had me thumped on my first few attempts so with these let's plays I do play through the game up to a certain point at least once just to get a feel for it. Because they're in alpha, it's not fair to guess that your first guess is at the game on what you see, especially if like there's more to the game than you thought there was. So give it a couple of goes if you're playing on Let's Play an Alpha game just to understand what they're trying to do. You know, you don't want to make a new game look bad just in case it could have been an amazing game. Let's see. Uh, so these guys are ninja skeletons, if that sounds cool to you. And that guy is a, um, mommy? No, he's got plates. He's a... I'm gonna, I don't know what he's called. I'm gonna give him a name. He's gonna be... Okay, he's got a club. 
He's got ceramic plates. I'm gonna call it death. And um, the character model kind of looks like uh, it's on the tip of my tongue. It looks like a person that shows up in media all the time. But anyway, let's go down here. This fight, my first couple of attempts coming up, took me about 18 attempts because of how I set up. Not because it's difficult, but because I found out that these guys, I'll, I'll let him try to hit me a couple of times. Yeah, he's, he's got like laser swords. And he he hits hard anyway, so he's he's going down. And also, if you accidentally put your weapon away, you will most likely die. Also, remember to aim for just members, otherwise you will run out of memory, and then you will die. And if you die, you have to go back to the other checkpoint. So remember these teleportation orbs; they come in handy because Lara lies right here. I tried to platform what's coming up, but it turns out. You mess up, you gotta checkpoint yourself. So, don't mess up. So what happens here is you pick up Lorelei, she waves nicely, thanks Lorelei, and you go down here. And you jump down the hole. And down this hole is um, a button to press for Lorelei to be spawned. So you press the button. At least she just spawns there. She just does her job. She, she, knows, what, she knows what's up. It's just it's a proximity thing, it's not a um, technical thing. And then we just jump in here. And because there's a red room with a door, there will obviously be some form of fight. Because that's how games work. But if you don't lock on, like you saw there, you will die. Uh -uh. Come on. Because I'll checkpoints meter here. But yeah, if you, if you forget to lock on at any point to an enemy at the moment, you will most likely not be able to hit them because the game does not pan the camera for your attacks, which deal the massive damage. And I got hit in the back, so I'm most likely gonna die in this like... Ah, no. I forgot this member there, that would've been good. They spawn differently as well, which is neat. The AI in this game utilizes their attack patterns differently than AI seen in another game, which is a bonus. Like, these guys will try to kill you. And they will use different attacks to do so, and they also come at different angles. Kind of interesting, I actually approve of the AI in this game for fighting good. Now we're on to another room. This has some moving platforms. What I figured out was that the moving platforms are actually at the moment tied together, so you don't want to try to platform it at once. You want to kind of wait until they recede and then come back out, otherwise you won't actually be able to get through with them. Which is kind of weird. And then, because you're in a room, there's a fight. And there's a, two of them. And there's a skeleton dudes from before. These guys kind of act like Wolverine, and then, unlike the other models before, they can block. Which I cannot do, and I really want to be able to do in a game where I'm hacking and slashing. I want to be able to block. But anyway, what happens here is I die, because I was woefully unprepared to get hit from behind. Nope. And you can just wall fog the enemies, which is good. Get your frustrations out. There we go, he's dead. Yeah, a bum little snowman. Oh, wait, what? Um, you can pick up Larla. She's very helpful. We're, we're 15 minutes in. We're gonna hit this green thingy. And we need to go up here still, so. You need to put your weapon away, otherwise you can't summon the orb. Do a double jump and do a B. That should do it. I don't know why I had trouble with that before. Why was it so difficult? Anyway, so we have opened it. There's those. He's opened the door. The first one opens that door on the top right, the uh, top left that I found. And then the second one opens another door around the corner. I'm kind of skipping things over because I've played through up to this point, I believe. And in this room is something now we have it drops down here we can actually go I haven't actually gone this way let's go this way oh crap there's enemies I haven't seen these before and they've got range projectiles so 
This is actually something I haven't seen yet, because I didn't play this part. I did actually skip over it, whoops. <laughs> I mean, it's a channel name, but anyway. I think these are wraiths of some kind. They seem to have fireball powers, and... Hit from a distance, so let's just checkpoint ourselves there. It seems optional, but we're gonna give them another go, so... Let's see what these guys do. Get the sword out, get the Y button, murder them. Don't forget that if you you can actually tap the uh, power tags off while you're in midair, which will save you health. And you can actually stay midair and keep hitting them. Do that again. And uh, Lorelai really likes it when you kill things, so keep killing things. To use Bay apparently. Um, don't fall down here. Oh, maybe fall down here. Just fall down here. There's some platforming to be done down here, but let's go this way. Let's go up here. I think I went this way before, and that's where uh, I got up to, so... We're going up here. What's in here? It is a cutscene, I believe. I am the daughter of a lineage of witches. And, as you may know, witches are not well accepted in a society that is constantly fighting against curses, plagues, and heretics. However, I have never practiced sorceries, even though I have a little understanding of them. Folks started to think that I cursed Mobius in order um. to his riches. Nevertheless, that is absolutely untrue. Mobius look. tried to defend me and prove my success. Uh. With no success. Uh. Well, at least he tried. All right, so these are the pretty much the drugs that Mobius takes to hallucinate, like a plant. I looked it up. It's a mixture of two plants that are poisonous. Like this is the ivy, and this is the flower, and you mix them together, and that's what makes the um, hallucination work in this game. Because remember, your character is in fact. Hallucinating the entire time. Just kind of scary when you think about it. But anyway, um, thanks for watching, and we'll see you on next week's Let's Play. Uh, not sure what we got planned because we're currently hunting down games like these, and we'll let you know. And see you next week. I don't think I'll ever get used to that on my uh, pause screen, like ever. Kind of seductive, kind of creepy. Anyway, thanks for watching.